Okay, how about this one? Get lots of rest when you're feeling ill. Do not exercise. <laughs> People so, say this all the time. Like, right. you need to slow down. You're sick. Do not work out. It's, it's a bit of both. It's a bit of a myth, and here's why. Mm -hmm. And again, it's intuition, so listen to your body. So yeah. when you have a bona fide flu, I don't want you going out there. No one does. Yeah. I want you going out there and running a marathon, obviously, or <laughs> right. hitting the gym. It's not a good thing. In you, fact, you mostly wouldn't even be able to. No, right. You no, know, because so, if you have a flu, like right. your body is actually hurting you. Right. You want to rest. You do want to. So again, so you're not lifting weights, but if it's a cold, right, or a mild, you know, you're recovering from the flu, go yeah. out for that walk. Mm -hmm. You know, go out for, do what you feel you're able to do. Now, increasing heat too much, especially when you have a fever, is never a good thing. Right. So obviously check your temperature. If it's become normal, then you want to do some of that, you know, yoga, stretching, Pilates, walking. Yes. That actually will help to pump the lymph, which uh -huh. is within our muscles, surrounding our, and the muscles that it's the only way your lymph actually move, and that will expel the garbage yes. after that sort of post-viral recovery mode. That will expel and again speed up healing time. I so agree with that 100%. Yeah. I say neck up. I'm okay to work out. Right. If it's down here, maybe not. Easy. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take it easy. Yep. Uh, cover your mouth with your hand when you cough. So we can't get enough of this one. This is absolute. You know, it, it, so do not do it. Right? <laughs> it's the Howie <laughs> Mandel. How are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Right? And stop picking your nose and stop putting your fingers in your eyes. And we all see you if we're driving. You know, we see. <laughs> I kind of did that before the yeah. show, but yeah, oh my don't goodness. do so it. Don't, don't do rub it. it. And here's a couple of tricks, by the way. It's in your sleeve. We know that. Yes. And there's a right and a wrong way to blow your nose. Okay. okay. So blowing both nostrils at once literally can create a, a sinus regurgitation. <gasps> so that's not good. So one nostril at a time. And really? I think most people realize, yeah, that's actually probably what I do do. Yeah. Otherwise, oh, you're really okay. pushing that bacteria up into your sinus cavity. I think I might have been doing it the wrong way. <laughs> uh, this is a big one that we need to get to. Don't go out with wet hair or cold weather or being cold can make you sick yeah. or you will get sick if you don't wear a coat a scarf or gloves do, okay do as a know? mother yeah I say it all the time <laughs> to the kids am I a liar so there is a small caveat and I'll get to it but okay. otherwise it's a myth you don't, okay. you don't get I'm a cold liar. from getting cold yeah and I know this by the way so I've been in a, uh, a, a cold sauna minus 200 degrees I didn't exit sick in fact it actually helps to boost your immune system okay. but here's the deal scientists at a Yale University have realized that in the nose which is about two degrees and especially mine two degrees less it's extending from my face <laughs> longer than the average but two degrees less than the uh, the core temperature yeah. actually will be a perfect environment for viruses to harbor and thrive and, and, and multiply okay. and so that's a higher chance that when you sniff that it's going to enter your lung cavity and actually replicate. So you, when your nose is particularly cold, mm -hmm. you have a higher propensity or chance to actually sniff in a virus which will then thrive in the body. So yes, there's a slight caveat to getting cold. Cover your face and neck okay. and that's a good idea. All right, yeah. so I'm not a total liar. Yeah. I'm a little liar. <laughs>